Hi, my name is Rory and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna discuss what I think is the most underrated filters for both photography and video. Before we get into the most underrated filters, I want to discuss some of the more common ones that you can buy for photography or video. First of all, let's discuss neutral density filters. Now, ND filters can either be square or circular. You put them on your lens to reduce the amount of light going into your camera, either for photography, if you want to get a long exposure, you reduce the light that's going into your camera and then you're able to get longer exposures. Or if it's just really bright outside and you want to reduce the light, use an ND filter. For video, if you want to maintain a shutter speed and a frame rate, you can use the ND filter to make sure that the frame rate and the shutter speed are maintained. The next type of filter I wanna discuss briefly is polarizer. Polarizers are really good for reducing glare, whether it be off of leaves and water. It can also add a nice rich contrast and saturation. So for example, make the clouds pop and the sky a nice rich blue. Polarizers are really, really great for landscape photography. I love to use them when shooting at the sea or waterfalls, whatever you may want. So those are two really common filters, ND filters, and polarizers. Today, I want to discuss what I think is a really, really underrated filter, and that is the black mist filter. Black mist filters may not be underrated for videographers. They have been used in quite a lot of film, TV, YouTube videos, whatever it may be. This type of filter is really popular, and there's a few reasons why we'll get into that. But not only is it good for video, but it's really good for photography, and quite a wide variety as well. So first, what is a black mist filter? Well, a black mist filter effectively makes the highlights in the image, the lights, bloom and cause a halation effect. So a nice soft glow around the lights. There are different degrees of this diffusion. So you get different degrees of black mist filter. So you can buy the weakest one, which is from Nissi. I've got the 1 8. As you can see, it says black mist 1 8 right there. If you want a slightly stronger effect, you can then get the 1 quarter. And above the 1 quarter is the 1 half. Now the 1 half has quite a strong halation, quite a strong diffusion of light, but it adds for that really, really strong, dreamy, soft light. Now, there are stronger ones you can get, and there are different types of diffusion filters that you can use. The good thing about black mist filters are they generally only make the highlights bloom, the lights, not everything. So the whole image won't be soft but mostly the lights, which is what you want to make glow, right? Same as when we're editing for landscape photography, if you want to do the autumn effect, you want the highlights to bloom and to glow, but you don't want the shadows to glow. It just looks a little bit artificial. As you can see here, it adds the glow to the highlights. So when my hand moves over the light, you can see it kind of disappear. And then when my hand comes away from the light, the glow goes back to the highlights. So really a nice effect from this black mist filter. Digital photography can have a really harsh contrast between the highlights and the shadows, almost unnatural and sharper than what our eyes can see. So the good thing about a black mist filter is it adds a soft roll off from the highlights and the shadows. Sometimes that really sharp digital photo and video is not really attractive. It's kind of harsh or overdone. So I really like the look of black mist filters for video. And the great thing about these black mist filters are it keeps the resolution. So you're still getting a lot of detail. It does lower some contrast when you use these filters and that gives it that nice soft dreamy effect. But its main purpose is to diffuse the highlights and create that soft glowing dreamy cinematic look. So you can think about how you can use this in your video. If you're filming a sequence or a video about a family and you're outside and you want to have that nice pastel color, quite a soft look to the image. You don't want it to be too sharp. Then the black mist filter is a great option. If you're at the beach and you want to give it that humid, hazy look, black mist filters are perfect. So whenever you're using video or photo in harsh light, these can really help just give it a nice soft look. So they can really help convey the emotion you're trying to get across, whether that be a softer, more dreamy feeling to the image. So if you're thinking whether or not you can use these, the question you should ask yourself is in post, would you add some haze to the image? Less contrast, would you want a softer, dreamier look? Less harsh and more cinematic? If so, then definitely pick up one of these black mist filters as you'll be able to experiment and get the look you want. But I must say, I was walking around the other night and filming with my wife and my son, 
and the look of the black mist filter is really good it really is quite unique quite soft and cinematic it's something you can't really create and it definitely ha adds more character to the video and the photos so as you can see from that it really adds a nice soft dreamy professional mysterious like i said maybe you want to add a hazy humid feel to the image or the photo so it can really give that nice cinematic look another thing i really like about these black mist filters is the fact that it kind of can soften the skin so i use a 1 8 in the studio here and it definitely adds a softer look to my skin so i put up a bit of video now just to show you how it adds a softening to the skin it kind of reduces the blemishes so i'll put on the screen now you've got the 1 8th, the 1 quarter, and the 1 half. So you can kind of see a bit of a comparison there. So this is as strong as the Nissi Black Mist Filter 1 half gets. As you can see, the highlights in the background are really blooming quite well. My skin should be a little softer as well, but still not overly soft as some filters that add the diffusion to the whole image. And that is without the filter. So quite a big contrast there. And personally, I'm a big fan of the Black Mist Filter. I think that this is just too harsh and too contrasty. So let me know what you think down below. So I really recommend, give it a go, pick one up. And if you do, I really recommend getting the 1 8 as a starter. 1 quarter can be really fun to use as well, creative. Uh, personally, I think the 1 half is quite strong for most cases, but honestly, you can walk around with the 1 8 on your camera do some video, do some photography, and I think you'll be really pleased with the results. In photography, for example, in street photography, you like to get some lights and let the lights glow, adds that nice, cool neon vibe to it, I suppose. And it's really good for street photography, especially night street photography. It just makes the contrast between the highlights and the shadows a little less harsh. So give it a go. If you like that type of photography, I think it's really fun and you can get some awesome, unique images. Now, I'm expecting some people to comment and say, yes, but if you're doing that, it's gonna be on the photo and on the video for good. Whereas in post, you can add it in post. You can, but this is way more natural. And for video, this is a lot easier than doing it in post. The thing is, when you use these filters, it is applying the bloom to the highlights. So it's very, very natural. And it adds a nice soft look to the whole image. Something that you can do in post, but it's quite challenging. In summary, if you do video, I really recommend you should have the black mist filters. If you do photography, if you're doing street, night street photography or portrait photography, I think these are also a really great asset to your kit. Or if you're doing short films or videos for YouTube, anything where you may have lights in the background, it adds a nice glow to the lights. I hope you guys found this interesting. I wanted to share this as I think more people should know about the black mist filter, more people should use them. I find them a lot of fun to use and I love the effects that they create. So there are links down below, check them out if you're interested. As I said, 1 8th is a great place to start. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one, enjoyed the different video and photos. I try to mix it up a little bit. So I hope you have enjoyed this. Hit like if you learned something and enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. What do you think? Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Thanks again for all the support and I'll see you in my next video.